Well, welcome back to another JDMKE episode here. This video is going to take quite a few in order for me to compile it all into one because it's quite the process, dyeing the carpet. Uh, one of the things that kind of I never really liked was like the multiple two-tone interior thing going on in the Supra. They have like vinyl leather back seats uh cloth front seats with a weird pattern on them which i anticipate changing the seats to because they're just old and not super comfy uh, but that's a down the road thing but one of the things that i've wanted to do for a while now is uh dye the carpet black so i found a thread on super forums and it pretty in a pretty detailed fashion showed how to dye this thing with writ dye I've seen other people use like roll-on dyes and spray dyes. The, the spray ones don't really interest me at all. Seems like they wear off. Um, seems like they also uh, have issues with like the texture of the carpet, which I don't want to change that. Um, so I've got my carpet all torn out here. I've got my setup. So here's what the original carpet looks like. Overall, it's in decent shape. There's a couple cuts in it where somebody wanted to run through some wires, I'm guessing. But, uh, you know, that's not going to bother me. This is all under the seat and in the back seat. So, not too concerned. The thread that I read through talking about dyeing the carpet, they did tan to black. So, I figured gray to black, well, that shouldn't be too bad. Um, but the general process is... First, good cleaning. I already vacuumed it. I'm going to go through and just take this carpet cleaner over it, clean off what I can. The staining really doesn't concern me because I'm going to be without dyeing it all black. But then after that, um, you need to buy a bunch of Rit dye, uh, and you add salt and hot water. And I bought a big 64-gallon tub uh, to put this whole thing in because it stays in there for a week. And then we got to rinse it out a bunch. So this is just the beginning of the process, but um, I look forward to showing you how to do this. I know OEM carpet is a lot of money, and I feel like if I can just save money by dyeing the one that I already have, uh, and it's in okay condition, I guess we'll try that. So here's how everything turned out. And you know, I didn't mess with the stains really. Like I said, I tried the baking soda thing. Um, it didn't really do a whole lot. I don't know if I probably have to let it sit longer or get a stronger spot remover. But like I said, it's all gonna be black. Why does everybody spill so much stuff in these things? I don't understand because every carpet I ever see that's a super carpet is annihilated. Does anybody, like, come on, there's no cup holders. Don't spill. But I did also want to show you all the disgusting stuff that's in here. Yummy. So that's what I got out of the carpet, which uh, seems like a win. And um, I'll uh, catch up with you for the next stage in the process here. But yeah, that's gross. All right, so I didn't have a lot of luck with the carpet cleaner, so I'm gonna try blasting all this nasty stuff out of here with the pressure washer.
I gathered all my supplies. I've got my carpet here. I've got dye and salt, which salt is required to activate it, I'm told. Um, I've got a bucket and a clamp so I can clamp the, the lid here. And um, yeah, that's kind of the plan. I've got my bin and I've got a hose running from the laundry sink downstairs, which is right by the hot water heater. So I can get some piping hot water coming out of there. So I'm going to start emptying all the 14 containers of dye and get to work. I'll have you know I'm cheap so you know I looked into getting this in some sort of bulk format every time it was cheaper buying the individual bottles so Start filling. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the carpet in here and uh, see how high it goes up. All right, so my hands are like kind of black. We'll see how that goes for the week. Um, but now that I've got some black hands, we've got it in the bin. I used two pieces of wood. I was originally gonna, I don't know, I was gonna try some bricks. I was like, I don't know, maybe they're porous. Maybe that's a terrible idea. I don't know. But I got the bricks on top. I've got two like stick, two, um, like two by fours that I cut um, and I have those weighing it down. So we will wait seven days and I'm going to pull it out. It's going to be beautiful, dark, black. I really had to cram it down in there. Um, getting it out of there and back in shape for when it goes into the car is going to be, I'm sure, an exciting time. But, uh, you know, like anything else, it was a... Uh, a little more challenging than I had anticipated. I figured you just fill it up, jam it in, go. 
got all the stuff that needs to be in there and I'm feeling pretty confident it's fully submerged uh, and I got this clamp on here uh, so that can just you know keep all the good stuff in there gonna leave it here for a week let it cook and uh, then I'll get back to you and show you how it turns out after seven days in the dye uh, I've got this is what the insides are looking like here Very dark. Got a brick weighing it down to keep everything under. And this is what a week looks like in here. I'm going to work on pulling this all out and then we'll see what it looks like out in the sunlight tomorrow morning. So pretty happy with the first sneak peek of things. This is looking nice and jet black. I feel good about having it totally submerged, although that was a pain and I had to use bricks. But this is looking good. I'm gonna let this sit out here. And uh, we're gonna have to rinse this all out in the next couple days, but it's looking good for right now. I have finally finished. That took me quite a lot of time uh, because I was trying to do it in stages and also sat in the tub for like a week. Um, but I'm really, really happy with how it came out. I think the color, uh, it's really hard to photograph, but it is a deep, dark black, which is something that I was really concerned about in doing this. I wanted to make sure that it didn't come out purpley or faded because, uh, you know, it was originally gray, but it looks amazing. Uh, looks absolutely incredible in person, feels nice and soft, which is really important to me too. Um, I wanted it just to have the normal carpet feel and not a weird feel. You know, if you're interested in doing this, I got all the steps laid out here. I'll put all the materials you need in the description below. Don't be afraid to have at it and you can get an awesome result for a pretty minimal amount of money. Um, I'd say the whole thing into it, probably about, I'd say 180-ish dollars. It's definitely worth it. I love the way this looks, and I can't wait to see my new floor mats. I have some really cool Imperial mats for the Supra, and I can't wait to see how it looks all together. I think it's going to look awesome. So thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe, and uh, keep following along as I continue on the interior of this car and fixing all the little things that a 30-year-old car has wrong with it. Thanks for watching.